friends, a very good evening and welcome to uh, another edition. Yeah, it is another edition of uh, Good Night Grenada. Hi, I'm George Grant. Thank you very much for joining us. It's uh, Tuesday evening, Tuesday evening, and things are going to be a little bit different tonight. Yeah, a little bit different tonight. Good, but a little bit different. It looks like... Uh, the coronavirus has finally gotten to Mr. Ray Roberts's um, computer. Yeah, yeah. We are not going to be hearing from Mr. Roberts tonight. Obviously, we've been uh, self-isolating ourselves. He's not been in here for the last little while. And um, we've been doing it electronically. But uh, just within the last hour or so, I got a little note from him that his computer has crashed. Corona, Corona, my sweet Corona. Yeah, something like that. But nevertheless, we're alive and well, and uh, we're happy that you're with us. Uh, just to read this break and open up here, uh, Facebook, and take a look around. Mm, day day yeah, she's up first again tonight. Antia, boy, I tell you, she's on a streak. She's on a roll. Um, Mr. Bob Blanco is also there, and so is uh, none other than Mr. Kennedy Pillow. And uh, some other folks as well. Lynn Fletcher. Hi, George. Your mic sounds muffled? Yeah. Yeah. Been having some issues, but we're in lockdown, so we can't get stuff in here to fix that stuff, okay? We're not going to give up. We're not going to give up. Now, poor Richard is also there. Poor Richard John, excuse me. Kathleen Thomas is also there. And, folks, let's take a look and see what sort of mischief we will endeavor to get into over the next hour or so. Yeah, you know that we have a, a state of emergency in effect. And as a result, there are certain rules that we need to be playing by. Okay? That's, of course, if you don't mind winding up having to pay the court some money or maybe spend some time in the slammer. Huh? Yeah. It could get to that. If you decide to disregard uh, what the state of emergency requires that you do. So, that is uh, something we're going to address tonight. You're going to hear the statutory rules and orders to make life a little bit easier for you. Leslie Ann Johnson from the Government Information Service is going to read those off to you in just a wee bit. Then we also have another little tip on how to curb the transmission of this dreadful, is it a disease or an illness or just a nuisance bug, whatever. Then the importance of wearing masks. Yeah, more and more people are talking about wearing masks now and uh, just a few minutes ago, <laughs> a friend of mine in New York sent me a mugshot of himself, I imagine, in Manhattan, wearing a mask this morning. Well, this gentleman is black, okay? And he, uh, he says he hopes that uh, the cops of New York are going to get used to seeing black people wearing masks and not <laughs> shoot them. <laughs> hey, anyway, he's got a great sense of humor anyway. So, yeah, we're going to show you two little videos tonight that uh, will show you how to make your own mask. And uh, we are going to sneak a little inspiration in there for you tonight as well. And tonight it's captioned, let's value people for the contribution they make. Yeah? I have a tendency sometimes to be just a, a wee bit too judgmental, don't we? Well, no. I think you're going to enjoy this video. Oh, no, 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 no. Daniel Jackson is saying, hey, George. Good night. Well, good night to you, too, Daniel. Okay, folks. So let's get down to our first 
little uh, thingamabob tonight. And um, actually, let's take a little break first, and then we'll get down to our first little thingamabob. Hang in there. I'm always on the move. Training. Traveling. Competing. So it's good to know I have Quad Bank in the palm of my hand. Introducing e-banking, one of many customer convenience services from Grenada Corporate Bank. And there's more to come. It's swift, simple, and secure. Welcome home. Juve chocolates, cocoa nibs, and cocoa balls from Diamond Estate Grenada are now available at Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, Amazon.co.uk, and GrenadaMarket.com. Try the sensational touch of nutmeg and a touch of ginger chocolates. 75% dark and rich, 100% pure cocoa, and the 60% dark and sweet chocolate bars today. Amazon Prime members enjoy free shipping on these orders in the USA, Canada, and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Together with you, our customers, we energize our community. Together with you, we energize our economy. We are working together to give our nation a better tomorrow. With you, we energize our future. Together, we energize our nation. Thank you for partnering with us as we energize our Spice Island. Brenlick, energizing our Grenada. Calling all vehicle owners, inspection and licensing continues. And at Hubbard's, we want you to be ready. From February 16th to March 31st, registration numbers 2,501 to 5,000 with single registration letter. Or registration numbers 251 to 500 with plural registration letters will receive 11% off new torque tires and power max batteries. Don't get caught unprepared. Visit us today at the Motor Department in Mongay or the Tire Bay in Grand Nance near to the building supplies. Okie doke, folks. It's now, let's see here, eight minutes after eight o'clock on a Tuesday evening. And I mentioned to you that tonight you're going to learn about the statutory rules and orders which pertain to the state of emergency under which Grenada now finds itself. Please listen carefully as to what will be expected from you over the next six days or so. Check this out. Grenada Statutory Rules and Orders No. 16 of 2020. In exercise of the powers conferred under Section 4 of the Emergency Powers Act, Chapter 88, for the purposes of Section 17 of the Constitution, the Cabinet of Grenada makes the following regulations. Citation and Duration. These regulations may be cited as the Emergency Powers COVID-19 No. 2 Regulations 2020. These regulations shall come into force on the 30th day of March 2020. Restriction on freedom of movement. A seven-day curfew is imposed beginning from 7 p.m. on the 30th day of March 2020 and ending at 7 p.m. on the 6th day of April 2020. And during this period, every person shall remain confined to their place of residence, inclusive of their yard space to avoid contact outside of their household, except as provided in these regulations or as may be authorized in writing by the Commissioner of Police. These regulations shall not apply in the case of a medical emergency. Work remotely from home. All businesses and offices may continue their business operations by allowing their employees to work remotely from home, utilizing virtual means, unless they are permitted to work under Regulation 5 or are designated as being essential workers under Regulation 7. Where a business is unable to continue its business operations by its employees working remotely from home, the business shall cease its operations. Public service, statutory bodies, state-owned enterprises and courts. 
Subject to sub-regulation 2, all members of the public service shall work remotely from home, except as otherwise directed by the Secretary to the Cabinet. Where the Secretary to the Cabinet directs that specified public officers attend work, the government shall take reasonable steps to ensure safe transport of the public officers, whereby the motor vehicle carries not more than one person in each row of seats in a staggered formation, and comply with the physical distancing protocols in accordance with Regulation 6. Subject to sub-Regulation 4, all employees of statutory bodies and state-owned enterprises shall work remotely from home, except as otherwise directed by the board and approved in writing by the Commissioner of Police. Where the board, with the approval of the Commissioner of Police, directs that specified employees attend work, the statutory bodies or state-owned enterprises, as the case may be, shall take reasonable steps to ensure safe transport of the employees, whereby the motor vehicle carries not more than one person in each row of seats in a staggered formation, and comply with the physical distancing protocols in accordance with Regulation 6. Subject to the practice directions of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, the courts shall remain accessible shall adhere to physical distancing protocols and the persons employed within the public service shall work remotely from home as far as reasonably practicable. In this regulation, the court means the magistrate's courts and the West Indies Associated States Supreme Court. Closure of businesses and exceptions. Every establishment or business shall remain closed except for the following shops which sell groceries, grocery stores and supermarkets which shall be open for business between 8 a.m. and 12 noon on days designated as grocery days by the Commissioner of Police and published by any public medium including radio or television broadcast. Suppliers who supply shops which sell groceries grocery stores and supermarkets as authorized in writing by the Commissioner of Police. Doctors' offices, hospitals, medical facilities and pharmacies. Hotels excluding any spas, gyms, discotheques and restaurants therein. However, such restaurants may offer takeaway or room service and where a hotel remains open, the hotel's staff shall remain on the premises for the duration of the period under Regulation 2.1. Hotel employers shall bear the costs of the board and lodging of such staff members. Commercial ports and related businesses as authorized by the Ports Authority. Airports subject to Regulation 10.1a. Commercial courier flights as authorized by the Airports Authority. Businesses licensed to provide security guard services. Such other businesses or undertakings as may be specifically exempted in writing by the Commissioner of Police and the owner or operator of the establishment under paragraphs A to I shall adhere to physical distancing protocols. If the manager, owner, other person in charge or employee of any shop which sells groceries grocery store or supermarket, aids, abets, or facilitates the contravention of these regulations, the shop, grocery store, or supermarket shall be immediately closed without prejudice to any other penalty in law. There shall be no sale or consumption of alcohol in or in the vicinity of any shop, grocery store, or supermarket, or in any public place. Physical distancing protocols. Every establishment shall ensure that all customers and staff maintain physical distancing of no less than six feet in or outside their business. Determine the number of persons that may be permitted in the establishment at any one time by permitting one person for every 30 square feet or store space of store space. Place distance markers six feet apart, indicating where each customer must stand on a line at a checkout point. 
place distance markers six feet apart on the outside of the establishment, indicating where customers must stand while waiting to enter the establishment. Employees of a medical hospital. Employees of a hospital or healthcare, medical, residential care establishment or facility and members of the Royal Grenada Police Force shall take reasonable steps to comply with the requirements under Subregulation 1 unless it is reasonably impracticable. Essential workers. For the avoidance of doubt but subject to Regulation 12, every person shall remain confined to their place of residence inclusive of their yard space to avoid contact outside of their household except essential workers who report to work. Workers required to work under Regulation 4 or 5, members of Parliament, the Attorney General, the Director of Public Prosecution, Magistrates and Judges, the Registrar and the Deputy Registrar of the Supreme Court, members of the official COVID-19 Task Force on Official Duties, in the case of emergency travel to any hospital or medical facility. For the purposes of paragraphs A to E of subregulation 1, such a person shall ensure at all times to distance himself at least six feet from any other person. For the purposes of this regulation, an essential worker means an officer, staff, employee or director of the Royal Grenada Police Force, the National Disaster Management Agency or any person authorized by the National Disaster Management Agency, Her Majesty's Prisons, the Customs and Excise Division, the Accountant General's Division, the Ministry of Social Services, the Office of the Prime Minister, the Ministry of National Security, the Ministry of Agriculture, Waste Disposal and Sanitation Companies, any hospital or healthcare, medical, residential care establishment or facility, essential workers of the Airports Authority and Ports Authority, essential workers of the water sector or the electricity sector, essential officers of the telecommunications sector or any other sector encompassing the provision of electronic communications, essential officers of any print or electronic media house, private caregivers for the elderly or disabled as authorized in writing by the Commissioner of Police and bona fide farmers with urgent need to care for animals as authorized in writing by the Commissioner of Police. Any other department or ministry or officer or category of officers or workers as in the case of public officers directed by the Secretary to the Cabinet. In any other case approved in writing by the Commissioner of Police. Every ministry or department listed at paragraphs D to I of subregulation 3 shall operate with essential staff, which shall include the permanent secretary, the senior administrative officer, and any other head of department and such other public officer directed to attend by the secretary to the cabinet. All essential workers shall at all times carry personal identification that evidences their employment by attachment to or connection to the entity by virtue of which they are deemed essential workers. Education and Religious Instruction All religious and educational places of instruction or worship shall remain physically closed. Subregulation 1 does not prohibit any activity referred to therein by electronic or virtual means. Restriction on social activities and funerals. No person shall host or attend any social activity of any description, including a wedding or a funeral. Restriction on international travel. With immediate effect, except with the prior written permission of the airport's authority, all airports, including private airports and fixed based operations or FBOs, shall be closed to incoming international flights carrying any passenger. All seaports shall be closed to regional and international seafaring and private boating, and no person shall be permitted to enter and disembark for any reason, including transiting through the state of Grenada, except with the permission of the Airports Authority and the Ministry of Health. Subregulation 1 shall not apply to outgoing flights 
or outgoing ships, as the case may be. Cargo flights or cargo ships, as the case may be. Commercial courier flights. Emergency medical flights. Emergency flights approved. Flights carrying any diplomat. If permission has been granted by the airport's authority and the Ministry of Health. Notwithstanding sub-regulation 2, no crew member will be allowed or granted shore leave unless for the purposes of operational difficulties and upon receiving permission from the airport's authority or the port's authority. Restriction on domestic travel. No person shall offer for hire or seek to travel on any mail boat sailing into island except for transport of freight or inter-island private commercial sea transport except with the approval of the Ports Authority and the Ministry of Health. Movement on grocery days. One person from a household may leave their residence once between 7.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. on a grocery day to attend the shops which sell groceries, grocery stores or supermarkets in the parish of their residence in accordance with the Parish Boundaries Act Chapter 224. Employees or workers of shops which sell groceries, grocery stores and supermarkets may leave their homes for the purposes of attending work on a grocery day and their employers shall ensure safe transport for each employee or worker where necessary, whereby the motor vehicle carries not more than one person in each row of seats in a staggered formation. Restriction on road traffic. No person shall drive a motor vehicle on any public or private road for a purpose other than stated in Regulation 5, 7 and 12. The Royal Grenada Police Force shall have powers to stop any motor vehicle and inquire as to the purposes for which that motor vehicle is being utilized and to arrest anyone found in violation of this restriction. The power to tow away under Section 30 and to affix an immobilizing device under Section 30A of the Road Traffic Act, Chapter 289A, shall apply in respect of any motor vehicle driven or used in contravention of this regulation. In this regulation, motor vehicle has the meaning assigned under the Road Traffic Act, Chapter 289A. Restriction on Transportation no person shall offer for hire or seek to travel on any motor omnibus, any hiring car or taxi. Any person may travel in a motor vehicle on a grocery day between 7.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. for the purpose of purchasing groceries in accordance with Regulation 12, if the motor vehicle carries not more than one person in each row of seats. In this regulation, motor omnibus, hiring car and taxi have the meanings assigned under the Road Traffic Act, Chapter 289A. Restriction on Visitation For the avoidance of doubt, no person shall visit or be permitted to visit any place of quarantine or isolation station. A patient in a hospital or residential care establishment or facility, including an elderly nursing home. A detainee in a prison. Mandatory reporting. A person who has traveled into the state of Grenada within the last 21 calendar days shall immediately place himself in self-isolation and notify the parish police station. Any person who is aware that he has been in contact with any person who has traveled into Grenada within the last 21 calendar days shall immediately notify the parish police station and await instructions. Any person who is exhibiting any flu-like symptoms shall immediately notify the parish police station. Any person who has observed that any other person is exhibiting flu-like symptoms shall notify the parish police station. Any person who knowingly makes a false report for the purposes of sub-regulation 4 shall be guilty of an offence. Any person who is asked by any official of the Ministry of Health to submit himself to any testing for COVID-19 shall submit to such testing. Any person who is directed by the Ministry of Health to submit himself to self-isolation or quarantine shall comply with the direction. For the purposes of this regulation, the Ministry of Health shall be contacted using the COVID-19 helplines at telephone numbers 458, 4787 
or 538-4787. Penalty. A person who contravenes or fails to comply with these regulations or any direction for the purposes of these regulations shall be guilty of an offence and, on summary conviction, liable to a fine of $1,000 and to imprisonment for 12 months and to forfeiture of any goods or money in respect of which the offence has been committed. Guidelines. The Commission of Police may, on the direction of the Cabinet of Grenada, issue guidelines to provide for further clarification on these regulations. These regulations, as of Monday, March 30th, replace the previously broadcast regulations. Thank you. Conveniently located in the Grand Anne Shopping Center, for over 40 years, Food Fair has provided quality service at affordable prices. Now, grocery shopping is made easier and more convenient from the Food Fair web store. Hey, babe. Hmm? Listen, uh, I need you to go down to Food Fair to get some groceries. All right, no problem. Right away. Thanks, babe. What are you doing? You're supposed to be going to Food Fair to get a grocery, man. I am. But didn't you know you can order your groceries online from the Food Fair web store? Are you serious? Of course. All you have to do is just to log on to www.foodfair.gd with credit card in hand and with an order of $100 or more, Food Fair Granans will deliver up to three miles away. And you don't even have to worry about your information, you know. Their safety measures are excellent. So hold on. You just order online and Food Fair will deliver to you? Yep. Oh, baby, better hurry up and order, man. <laughs> I already did. They should be here any minute now. Enjoy easy online shopping anytime from your home or office from the Food Fair web store. Food Fair, where you can fill your baskets without emptying your pockets. Hey, Lynn. Hey, neighbor. Here's the bill I asked you to pay for me. How did you get your electricity bill to be so low? For one, we size our transformers just for what we need. And we unplug transformers, chargers, and other devices when they're not in use. We also replaced our light bulbs with LEDs. They burn less energy, right? Much less. I even replaced the seal on my refrigerator door to keep the cold air in. And Grenlec is always advising us not to open the fridge too often. That's right. And my family washes and irons in bulk. With fuel prices changing all the time, how do you know if it is working? We pay attention to the usage history table over time our average usage has decreased. So while Grenada can't control fuel prices, I can conserve energy and save money. Grenlec, energizing our Grenada. Juve chocolates, cocoa nibs, and cocoa balls from Diamond Estate Grenada are now available at Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, Amazon.co.uk, and GrenadaMarket.com. Try the sensational touch of nutmeg and a touch of ginger chocolates, 75% dark and rich, 100% pure cocoa, and their 60% dark and sweet chocolate bars today. Amazon Prime members enjoy free shipping on these orders in the USA, Canada, and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com when you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Yes, my dear friends, it's now, let's see here, uh, 30 minutes after the hour. We're halfway into tonight's uh, 
for that. And uh, I just want to say this, you know, we're, we're only about two weeks into this uh, fiasco, if you will, although I, uh, I believe there's good in everything that happens. Um, and as time goes by, you're going to be finding more and more tips and, you know, suggestions as to how to cope with this. Well, tonight's going to be absolutely no exception, and I thought I'd share you another, share with you another one. It's just another way of trying to curb the transmission of this virus. Hello, YouTube friends. I'm Dr. Jonas Sharma, and I'm a family doctor. I would like to share with you one important component of managing this coronavirus pandemic that we are facing right now that we seem to miss its transmission. The known main mode of transmission of this virus is by person to person through respiratory droplets. Some of these droplets land on a surface and survive a few days. Some stay floating in the air for hours. Some may land on a host and start the cascade of the disease process. During ordinary speech, the droplets can reach to about a meter. This is the reason for the one meter social distancing. However, during forceful cough, sneeze, or loud laugh, it can reach up to 10 feet or maybe more. Therefore, we must also focus on stopping the escape of these droplets from those that have it in order to stop its spread. Not all people that have the virus are sick. Some are simply carriers. They are who we call the asymptomatic carriers. Some get sick later after the incubation period. What is the incubation period? The incubation period is the time from when the virus enters the body until the person having it manifests with signs and symptoms. This period ranges from one day to 12 days, but for uniformity it was pegged at 14 days. The period of illness ranges from 7 to 14 days, up to 20 days or even longer. So on the average, the course is about a month. This is the basis for the one month quarantine period. Since we really do not know who may be carrying the virus, unless they test positive of course, which could take some time to know. It is very difficult to control its spread unless we do the following measure. Now here it is. Face mask. We all must wear face masks until the quarantine, quarantine period is over. This is not to protect oneself from getting the virus, but rather from its escape from the person that has it. Commercial masks are now very hard to find, but you can wear any mask. Mask made from clothes, towels, or hankies, or anything that can hold the droplets from getting out. Now, where do you think Prince Charles or the others got the virus from? I am 99% sure it's from someone who had the virus but did not wear a mask and let out his droplets and his virus. The virus can only survive in a host person. After it takes its course within, it's over, unless it gets into another host person. This cycle will never end until all persons on Earth will have been infected. Some will survive, some will die, but we don't know who will survive and who will die. But how would you know who has the virus? This is next to impossible. We must assume that everyone is infected. If everyone in the whole world wore a mask for six weeks, the following would be the effect. One, the volume or the number of cases will drop significantly and therefore the healthcare system will no longer be overwhelmed and can manage cases with much ease than before. This is what we call 
flattening the curve. Number two, this virus will be disabled naturally and economically with much less need for antivirals, which could be very expensive, and other medications that have potential undesirable side effects. Prevention is still much better and cheaper than finding a cure. Did you know that in 1918, during the Spanish flu pandemic, they realized the value of face masks late in the course of the pandemic after millions have already died. They imposed the use of face masks at gunpoint. It was when the problem began to be controlled. Let's not repeat history, but rather learn from it. So together with quarantine and social distancing, a very important component is donning a face mask, which must be continued for a period of six to eight weeks after the quarantine is already lifted. This way, we avoid an economic and probably a health collapse. Until today, I still see on TV persons, politicians in session, the public in other places not wearing masks. And it is also where cases are highest in number. So I plead to the whole world to help control and bring down this pandemic by simply wearing your masks. Thank you and good day. I'm always on the move. Training, traveling, competing. So it's good to know I have Quad Bank in the palm of my hand. Introducing e-banking, one of many customer convenience services from Grenada Cooperative Bank. And there's more to come. It's swift, simple, and secure. Welcome home. Juve chocolates, cocoa nibs, and cocoa balls from Diamond Estate Grenada are now available at Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, Amazon.co.uk, and GrenadaMarket.com. Try the sensational touch of nutmeg and a touch of ginger chocolates. 75% dark and rich, 100% pure cocoa, and their 60% dark and sweet chocolate bars today. Amazon Prime members enjoy free shipping on these orders in the USA, Canada, and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Together with you, our customers, we energize our community. Together with you, we energize our economy. We are working together to give our nation a better tomorrow. With you, we energize our future. Together, we energize our nation. Thank you for partnering with us as we energize our spice side. Friendlick, energizing our Grenada. Calling all vehicle owners, inspection and licensing continues and at Hubbard's we want you to be ready. From February 16th to March 31st, registration numbers 2,501 to 5,000 with single registration letter or registration numbers 251 to 500 with plural registration letters will receive 11% off new torque tires and power max batteries. Don't get caught unprepared. Visit us today at the Motor Department in Mountgay or the Tire Bay in Grand Dance near to the building supplies. All right, right now, I'm going to show you three very short videos about masks. The first one, well, just in case you didn't know, about the importance of wearing masks. And then, two short videos which show you how to make masks. Now, don't know whether these masks are approved or not, but these are just some of the ideas for people who may not be able to find or afford, uh, you know, the professional mask with the quality N95, I think, or something like that, whatever. This will enable you to have 
I would imagine, some sort of protection. Just let me see what's going on here. I saw a video this week, says Sharon, where a man wearing a scarf to cover his mouth and nose was arrested by a police officer because he refused to remove, to remove it when told to do so by the officer. Um, and she says, oh, this was in St. George's. Okay. Don't know. But anyhow, here's a video about the importance of wearing masks. We have an important message for all of you, especially if you live in a country that is right now facing the new coronavirus. The pandemic is growing exponentially in many countries. But the Czech Republic is one of the few in Europe that has significantly slowed down the spread of the virus. In this video, we would like to tell you what we did differently and mainly, we would like to help you to do the same. We are following social distancing and the rules stay at home. But others do that too. We also have a strict hygienic procedures. Others do that as well. But the main difference is everyone who has to leave their house has to wear a face mask. Everyone. I know, they may be told you that masks wouldn't protect you, but there are studies proving that even a homemade mask can be partially protective. Partially. Any protection is essential today. But now the more important thing. Masks fundamentally prevent the transmission from you to others by sneezing, coughing, but also breathing. And many people are the most contagious before they start showing symptoms. So, when we both have a face mask, I protect you, you protect me, and we are both safe. Based on recent data, we know that population-wide use of masks is essential for suppression of the outbreak. According to our professional experience, a simple homemade mask can prevent up to 100% of the spread of potentially infected microdroplets. The more people use masks, the less virus can be distributed and fewer individuals are exposed. Just a few days ago, people were laughing at those who wore masks. But some people knew about this positive effect and started to share this information across social media. The message grew fast through artists, influencers and others. I know, face masks aren't in stores, right? But something incredible happened. People started making homemade masks and giving them to others for free. Many companies, theaters, or even retirement houses changed their buildings into sewing rooms, and thousands of people started to sew masks at home. So we know that face masks work, and it has been repeatedly confirmed by scientists. We know that it is possible in just three days to provide face masks for 10 million people in one country. And we know that here we have fundamentally repressed the infection. Please share this knowledge and help us to change as many countries as possible. Take a picture with your face mask on and share it with the hashtag masks for all. It can really save lives. And remember, I protect you, you protect me. Okay, folks, there's a, there's a note here on uh, social media from uh, Ryan. And by the way, I think you all know by now that Ryan is a retired a registered nurse. And Ryan is saying here, do, 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 good idea about wearing a personal mask. Now, a little lower down, Margaret chimes in and says, Ryan, there seems to be disagreement among the experts on this with some saying yes and some saying no. Absolutely right, Max. I have heard I have heard it said that apparently the professional the professional masks um, have very, very tiny holes, which apparently these little 
buggers cannot get into, okay? Whereas, you know, when you make the mask like the two you're about to see in just a wee bit, um, you do not have total protection, total coverage, because apparently these viruses can get in on the sides or below or on top. So apparently they're made from a certain membrane that, you know, really is minute and capable of keeping viruses out. Viruses are teeny little, teeny weeny little guys. I mean, you can't see these things with a naked eye. Anyhow, okay, so much for that. Now, somebody sent me a video, and this, by the way, came all the way from Switzerland. This is an idea of how to make your own mask, Swiss style. That came from the South China Morning Post. All right. Thank you very much, Peter. I really do appreciate that. Now, that's only one. Here's another lesson in making your own mask. Good morning, my sweet ladies. This morning, I'm going to show you how to make a mask. They are missing everywhere. And if you need to go maybe for your shopping or go to the pharmacy uh, or just go outside and you want to protect yourself and you don't have a mask, let me show you how to do it. You don't even need a needle or anything. You just need a tissue and two elastics. You can find them in your, in your office. So what you do, just take the cloth, a squared cloth like this, fold it into a half, fold again to cover. You put your elastic on an edge, first edge, all right? And then you put the other elastic on the other edge, as simple as that. You fold. And you fold the other edge, you can put the two edges together in between as you wish. All right, take the elastic, pull it, and put it on your mouth as easy as that. Then you put it behind your ears, and you're protected. Okay, you can also use it if you have just a simple scarf at home, you don't have, if you don't have any tissue, just a scarf like mine, it's a square word, a squared one. Again, fold it into a half, fold it again into a half. You can also use the small ones for the kids. Again, take your elastic, fold it one side, fold it on the other side. I mean, put your elastic wherever here, fold it, fold it, put it inside just for the folding part. 
again tap and you cover yourself so you can put it in the machine wash it whatever you want okay ladies all the best i love you god bless your family bye bye Alrighty, folks there you have it now I am so happy that we uh, we have a number of people who are involved in the healthcare system on this forum. So uh, that comes in very helpful for us. A note here from Mark, and, and again, this has to do with uh, the mask. Margaret says, what the mask does, though, is keep you from touching your face, which is just as important. She says, actually, I heard a doctor describe the masks this way. He said the surgical masks are designed to prevent infection from going out. And the N95, that's another type of mask, the real important one, is designed to prevent infection from coming in which is why the N95 mask has to be fit tested. There you go. Where else did you learn that kind of stuff, Max? Okay. Now, folks, how about, how about that? I would like to suggest that at this particular point in time, we take a little break here, and uh, when we come back, we'll probably have the national report for you. I'm always on the move. Training, traveling, competing. So it's good to know I have Quad Bank in the palm of my hand. Introducing e-banking, one of many customer convenience services from Grenada Cooperative Bank. And there's more to come. It's swift, simple, and secure. Welcome home. Juve chocolates, cocoa nibs, and cocoa balls from Diamond Estate Grenada are now available at Amazon.com, Amazon.ca, Amazon.co.uk, and GrenadaMarket.com. Try their sensational touch of nutmeg and a touch of ginger chocolates. 75% dark and rich, 100% pure cocoa, and their 60% dark and sweet chocolate bars today. Amazon Prime members enjoy free shipping on these orders in the USA, Canada, and Europe. GrenadaMarket.com. When you can't come to the island, the products of the island will come to you. Together with you, our customers, we energize our community. Together with you, we energize our economy. We are working together to give our nation a better tomorrow. With you, we energize our future. Together, we energize our nation. Thank you for partnering with us as we energize our Spice Island. Brenlek, energizing our Grenada. Calling all vehicle owners, inspection and licensing continues and at Hubbard's we want you to be ready. From February 16th to March 31st, registration numbers 2,501 to 5,000 with single registration letter or registration numbers 251 to 500 with plural registration letters will receive 11% off new torque tires and power max batteries. Don't get caught unprepared. Visit us today at the Motor Department in Mongay or the Tire Bay in Grand Dance near to the building supplies. All righty, all righty, all righty. On social media, Mr. Derek Seeley says here, he says, I love this mask segment. Wow. And he also points out just a little bit earlier here that uh, where is he? Where is he? He says, George, I am the evangelist calling for wearing a mask by all in Grenada. Derek thinks we should all be masked up. Okay. Folks, right now, here comes your national report from the Government Information Service.
Government working to secure more protective gear for frontline workers in the fight against COVID-19. We'll have details to this story and more in the National Report. With the details to the news for Tuesday, March 31st, 2020, I am Rakesha St. Louis. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says government is working intensely at securing more protective gear and equipment for health officials and police officers as the fight against the further spread of COVID-19 continues. Dr. Mitchell said Grenada, as many countries, was not prepared for the magnitude of the virus. During a press conference on Monday, the Prime Minister said although Grenada's frontline workers, like the police and health officers, are geared up, the government is still trying to acquire more equipment so that they can carry out their duties effectively. He added that because the fight against COVID-19 is global, there is a delay from manufacturers due to the high demand for the same products. What we are facing today, we were never prepared for this. I'm never prepared for it. Um, if we were prepared, as we should be, probably all of us would be carrying face masks as we walk in here this afternoon. But we're not. So clearly the police does not have all equipment. So we are looking, searching for equipment to be able to give them all the necessary protection. And of course, the health workers who are going out there and have to, to face um, some of the, the people who may be contaminated at this particular time. So yes, we have some support equipment, but not all that we need, but we are in fact looking. The problem you have is no country was prepared for this. You, I mean, you, you listen to the great United States with its trillions and tr they can just print money, we can't print. They just go and print. And yet, they have the army that they could call upon to make all the equipment and support. Yet the people are dying without the, the service because no one was prepared for this, not one. And therefore, we would be even a worse situation. As of Monday, March 30th, police officers have been deployed in every parish and community to ensure that Grenadians are complying with the 24-hour curfew that has been imposed on the country for seven days. At a press conference on Monday evening, Acting Commissioner of Police Edwin Martin said he is satisfied with the level of manpower and mobility of the police force to execute the seven-day curfew. I am comfortable now that we do have the manpower and to give you the assurance that the force is now completely mobilized, um, meaning all of the persons that we have who was on leave reported back to duty to augment our manpower so that we can deliver on this. The actual patrols and checkpoints that we have to effect now has become a bit easier with the current state of affairs. The fact that we have significantly limited movement makes enforcement easier. So I'm comfortable with the manpower that we have to effect this task. And in terms of our own mobility, we have been given clearance to rent vehicles and we have to rent as much as we need at this point, we rented 12, and we have also been augmented with a number of vehicles out of the ministries that have reduced their level of operation and hand the vehicles over to us so that we can use them to enhance our operability. So at, at this point, as it relates to manpower and vehicles, we are okay. The Cabinet of Grenada has made amendments to the Emergency Powers COVID-19 Regulations 2020 that were implemented last week during the limited state of emergency in exercise of the powers conferred under Section 4 of the Emergency Powers Act. The amendments now apply to the mandatory curfew that was enforced on Monday, March 30th from 7 p.m. and will end on April 6th in the first instance. Under this regulation, every establishment or business shall remain closed except for shops, suppliers, doctors' offices, medical facilities, pharmacies, airports, security companies, commercial ports and hotels. Shops which sell groceries, grocery stores and supermarkets which shall be open for business between 8 a.m and 12 noon on days designated as grocery days by the Commissioner of Police and published by any public medium, including radio or television broadcast. 
suppliers who supply shops which sell groceries, grocery stores and supermarkets as authorized in writing by the Commissioner of Police. Doctors' offices, hospitals, medical facilities and pharmacies. Hotels excluding any spas, gyms, discotheques and restaurants therein. However, such restaurants may offer takeaway or room service and where a hotel remains open, the hotel's staff shall remain on the premises for the duration of the period under Regulation 2-1. The regulation highlights the hours residents are allowed to leave their homes to purchase food and steps shop owners must take to ensure the safety of consumers and employees. One person from a household may leave their residence once between 7.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m. on a grocery day to attend the shops which sell groceries, grocery stores or supermarkets in the parish of their residence in accordance with the Parish Boundaries Act, Chapter 224. Employees or workers of shops which sell groceries, grocery stores and supermarkets may leave their homes for the purposes of attending work on a grocery day and their employers shall ensure safe transport for each employee or worker where necessary whereby the motor vehicle carries not more than one person in each row of seats in a staggered formation. This is the National Report. We'll have more news after the break. COVID-19 spreads from person to person through the droplets that are produced when someone coughs or sneezes, which makes it easy to spread between people in close contact. Now let's get prepared to stay healthy. To reduce your chance of catching or spreading COVID-19, practice these simple everyday preventative measures. Droplets can also land on surfaces, so ensure that you wash your hands frequently for a minimum of 20 seconds or sing the happy birthday song twice. Avoid touching your face, especially your eyes, nose and mouth. If soap and water are not readily available, Use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with an alcohol content between 60 and 90%. 70% is ideal. When you cough or sneeze, cover your nose and mouth with a flexed elbow or a tissue. Dispose of the tissue immediately and then wash your hands. <laughs> if you notice someone has a fever and cough, or other symptoms of respiratory illness, avoid close contact when possible. Let's all do our part to ensure that each and every Grenadian remains healthy. Our health is our collective responsibility. Welcome back. Health and Social Security Minister Honorable Nicholas Steele says Kariku has not been left out of COVID-19 plans. He made the comment against the backdrop that boats and other shipments of food and water has been stopped due to the closure of ports. On Monday, Minister Steele told members of the media that accommodations are being made to restock shops, supermarkets and other essential facilities with supplies for the island. P.T. Martinique will also benefit from the move to restock. There is going to have to be um, some sort of accommodation in the next couple of days or week or so to restock Karaku in the same way that we've made adjustments for for um, distributors to, to restock the shops and groceries here. Um, and also, for instance, this special accommodation, while we've said no inter-island um, travel, we do recognize the interdependency between Karaku and Piti Martinique. So that in itself is, is allowed while we're not we're, we're trying not to have Grenada Karakou. It's not to make people suffer, it's to protect Karakou. That should this break out completely in Grenada, um, my true hope is that those who may be complaining or concerned now in Karakou about getting access to food would be extremely grateful that, that we had cut them off um, so that it's not widespread infection in Karakou as well. Minister still gave the assurance that the island is furnished to accommodate suspected cases of COVID-19, but he says confirmed cases will be transported to Grenada to be isolated. There are quarantine facilities identified in Karakou, 
but should somebody um, be COVID-19 positive in Karakou, the arrangement is made to transport them um, to the general hospital here. Questions have been asked as to why can't we send a ventilator up to, to Karakou. Yes, we can. We have enough now on island. But the ventilator needs a specialist to intubate in other words to shove the tube down. And that is what is of limited resource. That's why we also got the Cubans to, to come in as well. And we're most grateful to the government and people of Cuba for being able to send at a time when everybody else in the world and Cuba also should be saying, let me make sure I have enough doctors and keep my doctors. Cuba is able to send their doctors to, to other hotspots and also to countries like us to say, hey, let me help you, my brother, that they are truly our brother's keeper. With its desalination plant not in operation, residents on the sister isle will also be supplied with water to take them through the curfew period. Finally, in the news, the Inland Revenue Division says all filing deadlines due on the 30th and 31st of March 2020 have been extended to April 30th, 2020. The division says this is as a direct response to curbing the threat of COVID-19. The division is assuring the public that the relief is automatic and the taxpayers do not need to file any additional forms or call the IRD to qualify for this extension. That story just ended the national report for today, Tuesday, March 31st. Let's recap the top story. Government working to secure more protective gear for frontline workers in the fight against COVID-19. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I am Rakesha St. Louis saying thank you for joining us. Until next time. just about takes us to the end of tonight's edition of uh, Good Night Grenada. Thanks for joining us. We're not done yet. We're not done yet, but uh, we have to take one quick little break. And I also want to remind you folks that uh, if you haven't yet done so, please go to the GrenadaBroadcast.com website and uh, take a look at the statutory rules and Orders. I'm doing this because I do not want to compound things for you by having you wind up in the hands of the law. We're asking that everybody please try and comply with the rules and orders in that document, which is published on the GrenadaBroadcast.com website. And if not, you can also uh, go on back and watch the beginning of tonight's program where we had uh, Leslie Ann Johnson read that for you. So please, pay attention and stay out of trouble. Things are tough enough as they are. Okay? Quick break. And we'll come back with a parting word from the Holy Script. Oh, 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 oh. Not time to go yet. I promised you that I wanted to show you something which shows that when, when, when this coronavirus issue is all over, we're going to be living in a totally different world, in a world in which I hope that we will have a greater appreciation or people we never seem to give a second look at. Here is a member of parliament, a British member of parliament, 
I think he explains it better than I do. Check this out. We can all now see that jobs that are never celebrated are absolutely essential to keep our society going. Think of the refuse workers, the supermarket shelf stackers, the delivery drivers, the cleaners. Those grades of work are often dismissed as low skilled. Low skilled. But I ask them this question. Who are we least able to do without in a crisis? The refuse collector or the billionaire hedge fund no. manager? Who is actually doing more for our society at this very moment? Let's value people for the contribution they make. Respect the skill of the cleaner, the refuse worker, the postal delivery worker, all of those. Let's have respect for those that actually are part of the glue of our society. This virus knows no national boundaries and neither should our capacity for compassion and care for our fellow human beings know any national boundaries either. The internationalism of the doctors from Cuba have gone to fight the virus in Italy is inspirational, as is the action of the European Union, which has given 20 million euros to help the crisis in Iran at the present time, despite the sanctions. It's a scandal that sanctions have prevented many Iranians accessing vital medical supplies, putting each other at risk and inevitably putting all of us at risk. The old trade union slogan goes, an injury to one is an injury to all. United we stand, divided we fall. And, Madam Deputy Speaker, people across our country know this. So many are showing such compassion in the face of adversity. Just look at how people are coming together, mutual aid groups being springing up all over the country, thousands of people organising to protect their communities. It's inspirational to see people who've never spoken to each other before suddenly getting together in this time of crisis and realising they live in the same street, they need that help and support for each other. It's that spirit which will take us forward. After this crisis, there is no doubt that our society and our economy will be and have to be very, very different. We must learn the lessons from the crisis and ensure that our society is defined as a society by solidarity and compassion rather than insecurity, fear and inequality. COVID-19 spreads from person to person through the droplets that are produced when someone coughs or sneezes, which makes it easy to spread between people in close contact. Now let's get prepared to stay healthy. To reduce your chance of catching or spreading COVID-19, practice these simple everyday preventative measures. Droplets can also land on surfaces, so ensure that you wash your hands frequently for a minimum of 20 seconds or sing the happy birthday song twice. Avoid touching your face, especially your eyes, nose and mouth. If soap and water are not readily available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer with an alcohol content between 60 and 90%. 70% is ideal. When you cough or sneeze, cover your nose and mouth with a flexed elbow or a tissue. Dispose of the tissue immediately and then wash your hands. <laughs> if you notice someone has a fever and cough or other symptoms of respiratory illness, avoid close contact when possible. Let's all do our part to ensure that each and every Grenadian remains healthy. Our health is our collective responsibility.
my granddaughter. Alrighty, folks, just about time to pull the plug, but one parting word from the Holy Scriptures before we go. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. It's all about faith. Now, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as righteous when God spoke well of his offerings. And by faith, Abel still speaks, even though he's dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from the slaughter so that he did not experience death. He could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God. It is anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. Hebrews 11. Verses 1 to 6. Pilgrims, 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 pilgrims. Thank you so much for spending a part of your Tuesday evening with me. I will continue to pray for your safety. And by God's grace, let's get together again tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. May the good Lord bless and keep you. So long.